If you're new to Quizalize, then here's a great place to start and get to know the lay of the land. We're going to walk you through creating your classes, how students will access your activities, and go through a brief navigation tutorial. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is create your classes. Each class you create generates a unique class code. More on that later. So when students enter your class for the first time, they automatically populate your class roster. There is no need to add them manually. When you create the class, you can choose how students will enter and access your activities. By the way, if you use Google Classroom, you should watch the video we have linked in the description as your students will enter through a different Google Classroom sync. For everyone else, these are your options. The one we have checked here is referred to as the simple login. Students simply enter their name the first time they enter, and they click on their name in the list each time after. Students can also enter using an email address as their username. And when they will be prompted to create a password, they can sign to your classroom in the future. These last two function the same way, although I should note that the Google login is not the same as Google Classroom. A student might have a Google account and not have Google Classroom, so this is a good option for them. And again, if you do want students to access through Google Classroom, check out the video in the description. When choosing these two options, students will see the appropriate sign-in screen when they enter your classroom. Okay, so how will students enter this class you've just created? Well, here's just one example of how you can direct students into your classroom. If you have an LMS, you can create a post or an assignment with instructions. In order to access your classroom, they must navigate to zzi.sh. And if you can provide the link to them, then all you have to do is click on it. When they click on your provided link, or if they simply type in zzi.sh in their browser bar themselves, here is their opportunity to enter the unique class code for your class where they will log in and access your assigned activities. So now that we understand what these options mean, we can move forward with creating our first class. In the next screen for your first class, here is an opportunity to choose what subjects you teach. It is not mandatory, but it helps us filter content that is most relevant to your classes. You can add all of your subjects here now, or you can do it later. Your class is created, and now take a look up in the right corner. There's your class code. It is completely unique and only applies to the class you've just created. This is what students will enter on the zzi.sh page to access your activities. We recommend creating all of your classes right after you register. This dropdown shows all the created classes so you can toggle between them, add new classes, and edit your existing ones. Now that you've created all your classes, let's do a quick tour of the website. The screen we are looking at now is called the activity list. This is where the results and data collected from your assigned resources will be. Nothing has been assigned in this class, so it sits empty. If we switch to another class, we can see an activity list that has four activities assigned. Students have entered this classroom and completed an activity, while three more are waiting for students to start. Clicking on an activity brings you to the activity dashboard where you can see the results and project a gamified competition either onto a screen at the front of your classroom or live stream directly into your students' devices by sharing your screen through Zoom or Google Meet. Here's how that list of activities looks to a student when they enter your classroom. Notice the ability to check results of completed activities and even make multiple attempts. Let's check out another screen. Resources tab will give you access to publicly available resources. Notice the courses. By clicking on them, you can filter material that may be tagged to that course. Every single quiz you've created or assigned can be found in your library. This library is not specific to a class, which means you can access all your resources at once and assign them to any or all of your classes from this screen. Gradebook shows you all your students' scores from past quizzes. This is a limited feature with a free account. This user has a premium account, which is why we can see all that data. And the same is true of your mastery dashboards. Free accounts have limited data retrieval, while premium accounts can populate unlimited data. If you assign quizzes tagged to your curriculum, you get a nice snapshot of how your students are performing relative to those standards. I think this is enough to get you started. Make sure you check out all of our other tutorials which go into much more depth into really awesome features like our automated differentiation, which allows you to assign follow-up activities based on how students scored on a quiz, 
or how to get the most out of your data collection.